Okay, so there's a lot of talent in Canada. We had teased this in the pregame show when we were talking about the big stories around women's soccer and how they're really starting to find a voice and demand equality. What about a domestic league? You know that's going to be the next topic of conversation. Does Canada need one of its own? Yeah, and I think you've seen Mexico sort of take that step forward. And the concern for Canada is that if we're not developing our own talent and making sure that all of these players are seen. These players like the Uddenberg sisters who mm -hmm. maybe have the quality to play at a national team level. Maybe it's not for Canada, but but you want to make sure that you see everybody. And I think that a women's league would allow that. Mm -hmm. um, and you also want to make sure that you're keeping pace as Canada with all of the other countries in the world, Mexico has started a women's league. You don't want to fall behind um, because you're not harnessing all of the talent that you have the opportunity to harness. Mm -hmm. I have a bit of a unique perspective. I was part of that first cohort that went to the NWSL in 2013, and Canada Soccer did a lot of work to combine all our national uh, federation efforts with Mexico, with Canada, with the U.S. to get that league off the ground. And to date, there's millions of dollars that the Canadian Soccer Association have put in mm -hmm. to make sure that the top, and I'm talking the national team girls, had a place to play. In 2011, we were unattached FC. We had nowhere to go, not as marketable. It got us into the NWSL, and in fact, that strategy has worked for some, mm -hmm. not all. Now it's time to look at the layer beneath as we start to graduate a lot of our veterans yeah. mm -hmm. out of this team and this, in this, um, uh, this squad, and mm -hmm. we start to look at what's underneath, what's mm -hmm. sustainable, what's mm -hmm. going to get us to the next level. So for a strategy that has worked with the NWSL, the investment, OTP, Canada Soccer, now there's something about pivoting. Mm -hmm. What's next? Mm -hmm. How do we bring this talent home? How do we exp expand the player pool? And even if it's one, like mm -hmm. we see in the CPL, mm -hmm. Carducci going up to, to get a call up, and that's exciting. That's a storyline mm -hmm. we all love. I can see that exact thing happening. Uh, mm -hmm. Borges as well, of course. If you re yeah, I'd did be it. I mean, like you already did saw it. some. You definitely saw some call-ups mm -hmm. from the CPL to the the men's national team, exactly and then right. other players playing in the CPL were called to their mm -hmm. national teams. Obviously, not uh, mm -hmm. not Canadian, right. but yes. that seems to be the next step. We had mm -hmm. the conversation. You're seeing other nations do it. We're seeing the NWSL expand. Clearly, there is a successful model there. Yes. Uh, where does the step now happen on Canadian soil?